um, I figured I might as well start filming because we're making pad thai for dinner. So I felt like that was some like different content because it's not banana bread for like the 17th time. So um, basically what we do is we either find like a different recipe each time and we kind of just wing it or I just throw things in and wing it that way. Um, so we're kind of going off a recipe, but um, mostly winging it because okay. why not? Yeah, literally we have all the stuff. So um, I have some eggs in a bowl that I'm gonna throw in. We're cooking the chicken. And then we just have a bunch of stuff. We have ginger, garlic, um, we had shallot, so I cut up a shallot, um, some sesame oil, cayenne pepper, like lime juice. This is like, I feel like the best part is the red curry paste. I think that's like the most important. And honestly, the fish sauce because it's, I don't know, it's like a weird flavor, but it's good. And then we have some gluten-free soy sauce. These are the rice noodles we're gonna use this time. And then I have peanut butter, brown sugar, and that stuff. So, we'll see what we kind of do, but we're cooking the chicken first, and then I'm gonna throw the shallots in, and the carrots, and get that going, and like the ginger and all that stuff. But um, I figured why not start it off this way, and show some stuff. So I took the chicken out, we're gonna add the shallots, and some ginger, and cook that, and then we're gonna start the sauce. And in the meantime, we're gonna boil some water for the noodles. These are kind of different, and you're supposed to actually boil them, versus some of them you just throw um, into the like hot water and just like let them soak for like whatever. So that's what's up. I just scrambled two eggs and I threw it in here um, and I moved the shallots and the ginger over to the side. Don't come for me if that's what you're not supposed to do, but that's how I'm doing it. So we're gonna be fine. Um, so I just threw in soy sauce and now I'm going to add some red Thai curry paste. This is the one we get. Okay, there you go. That's the one we get. So I'm gonna throw in like a teaspoon of that and then probably throw in more as we go. Now I'm gonna throw in my peanut butter and then mix everything together. So I threw the chicken in and, and mixing everything. I'm gonna throw in some fish sauce and some more soy and then if we have chicken broth, I'm gonna throw it in so we get more of a sauce going. So the one we're following says to do two tablespoons of fish sauce, um, two tablespoons of lime juice and then two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. So we're gonna try that even though I'm not really following it for like the other stuff that we're putting in it but <clears throat> we're trying to get a little more saucy. So. so the sauce is basically done. Um, we had added chicken broth, which made it like nice and kind of soupy, so we have extra. So now we're just cooking the rice noodles, and the only thing I am gonna add is cayenne pepper. Um, it's super spicy, so we're just gonna do a little bit. I don't really love sriracha, but a lot of the recipes do call for sriracha. I'd rather have like the heat of um, like cayenne instead of like the, the taste of sriracha. So we're gonna add that, and wait for the noodles to be done, and then we're gonna mix it all together. because this wouldn't be a vlog if I wasn't doing that. So um, we actually, you know, it's obviously quarantine, and we ran out of the Bob Drug Mill one-to-one -one flour, like the stores are empty. Um, but my dad was able to find a Bob Red Mill, it's paleo baking flour, so we're gonna give it a whirl. It looks like this. So, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna do it the same exact way that I would normally make it. I think it's like a cup of flour or whatever it is. Um, I use the same recipe that I had um, linked in my last video or like whenever I had made it. So I'm just gonna do that and see how it comes out. Um, I think it should be fine. Maybe I'll have to cook it for a little bit longer, but I'm not too worried about it because I think everything else in it is gonna be good. And it says like muffins, cookies, cakes, flatbreads, crackers, quick bread, pancakes, pizza crust. So we'll see. It seems like it'll probably be fine. Oh, also I'm hopping on because normally I do nuts in it, like whatever we have in the house, but the only nuts we have are 
um, pistachios or peanuts and I just don't think that'll be great. So we're gonna do chocolate chips. I'm normally not a big fan of chocolate chips and like breads. Like I don't like it in pumpkin bread. I like pumpkin bread with nuts like the Starbucks one or like banana nut bread, but we're all out of nuts. So we're gonna put chocolate chips in it. We have mini chocolate chips, obviously gluten free. So I feel like it'll be good. I mean, bananas and chocolate go pretty well together. So we'll see about that. So I just got out of the shower. The banana bread is still cooking, but I wanted to show you guys that Glenn, what did she do, crochet? She crocheted masks. So they have like regular ones at work. Um, she's a bank teller. I feel like I've mentioned that before. And um, yeah, I'll open them. And she crocheted them so she could put them like over. So let me try that on. I'll put them all out so you can see. She made a couple different colors because she's being inclusive and wanted to let the boys that work there also wear them. So, hold on. So, they look like this. So she made a couple different colors and uh, yeah, they're cute. Where did you get the pattern? Um, off of- like Was it Pinterest? The, yeah, Pinterest. Um, the pattern was on Pinterest, so I mean, obviously you have to have this stuff in your house basically, or I guess you can like prime it, but they're super cute cotton. and they're like cotton. So you can wash them and everything like that. And like, you can just put them over your mask. So you have like a double, a double layer. But I just want to show people before she brings them to work tomorrow. I always video in my kitchen. Like, I don't really know why, but I guess we're in here literally all the time. Um, I forgot to show yesterday. So I'll have to insert a clip or like a picture. I'll insert that here. Um, but Matt actually sent me cookies. Um, there's this place called C Kruger's. I've, I saw it on Instagram, but you can, I mean, typically how they're like showing them in the ads is, um, they say like wash your hands or stay safe or like, stay safe, stay safe. Whoa. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, and you can get that written on them, but because they were gluten free, it literally just says gluten free. So he sent me two, as you'll see in that picture. Um, it was a peanut butter like just a peanut butter. It was kind of like a sugar cookie. And then he sent me a chocolate chip one. The peanut butter cookie was literally so good. My mom and I shared it last night and it was like a sugar cookie, but it had like a nice hint of peanut butter, but it wasn't overly peanut buttery. So now we have the chocolate one. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. It just looks like this. It melted because of course yesterday was like the hottest day ever and it was outside, but it looks like this. It says gluten-free and um, yeah. So I'll have to see how this one is, but the peanut butter one, was literally so good. I took a picture of the back because I'm gonna try to like either find a recipe that's a copycat or just like make it myself. So I figured I'd show you guys that. So banana bread update. Um, we cooked it for 55 minutes. I put it in for 60, we checked it at 50 and it was like, like it looked like it was burning. I guess is the best way to say it. It looked really dark, but the middle was kind of a little soupy still. So I cooked it for five more minutes and I pulled it and then I let it sit for five and um, when I flipped it out of the pan, the bottom corner, like one of the bottom corners stuck, kind of, right? Would you say stuck? Yeah. And um, whatever, we patched it together, <laughs> like we put it yeah. back together and it looks fine. I mean, we're gonna have to try it. I put chocolate chips, so you know, that's already out of my realm. So, um, this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good. It looks like your typical banana bread. I did notice that this, it like, it's all one level. It didn't like fluff up in the center. Um, yeah, I'll have to try it and let you guys know how we feel about it. I mean, it's probably gonna be good because it's banana bread, but definitely I feel like it has a different consistency. It seems a lot thicker, I guess, and less like fluffy, but I want it to like really set up now because it already fell apart once. So I'll let you guys know how it tastes once I finally try it. Also, one last thing, Ray-Ban is having a sale. Um, it's like 30% off, not too bad. I mean, they never really have sales. I mean, okay, they do, but like, you know what I mean? So that's kind of cool. Kind of want to get the hexagonal sunglasses, but also like, unemployed so i should be saving my money but figured i'd just let you guys know that there is a ray-ban sale so that's cool hey guys what's up um happy wednesday uh it's definitely not the morning it's like afternoon but i've just been hanging out i slept in until like 9 30 today 
and I've just been hanging. Nothing like too serious. I watched some YouTube. Um, I talked to Matt. I actually decided to kind of get ready today. Not facially, obviously, but I put my rings on. I put some earrings in. Um, I put a bracelet on, you know. This is from the style collection. This is the one that I had shown in like one of the other videos. It's actually really nice. Um, and that's kind of it. Like nothing too crazy. I put on a real shirt. Um, just to kind of get ready, but I'm still like in sweatpants and like slippers. Like I have a pile of clothing that I need to clean up and like put away. I probably should strip my bed. Um, but you know, just kind of hanging out. It's like not that nice today, which I'm kind of happy about because we've been outside every day doing like yard work, which is really good because it looks a lot better, but it's just exhausting. Like I'm so tired from it. So um, I've just been chilling. I had some tea this morning and I had breakfast and I was talking to Matt and he was getting ready because he has class and like they're on Zoom obviously but he's been trying to like kind of get ready for it just so he feels like he's like in the swing of class and everything. So I was like, yeah, maybe I should, <laughs> should kind of get ready for the day. So a little bit, a little bit. But that's kind of it um, for this vlog. I think I'm going to end it here just so it's a little bit shorter. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the pad thai recipe that I made last night. I'll try to link it below, but as you'll see, I, like, I really didn't follow, um, the recipe that much. I kind of, like, looked at what they had and then, like, put my own spin on it. Um, but the lime juice in it was, like, fuego. Like, it was so good. Like, literally the best thing ever. So, that was good. The banana bread, I have yet to try. Um, I still need to do that. I don't know. It definitely is different than how it normally is, but I think it'll be fine. It looks good. I didn't try it last night because it was like almost 11 o'clock by the time it was like cool and everything because I made it at like nine. So um, I just like covered it. So I'll have to try that shortly because I'm kind of curious, but I feel like what could be bad about it truthfully. Um, and that's really it. Also, I just want to say like that by no means am I claiming these recipes as my own. Um, the banana bread I've literally linked before. Uh, so if you try it, enjoy it. Like you don't have to tag me or anything. Not that anyone's probably watching, but um, it's just a really good banana recipe. And you can definitely make it into muffins or like whatever you want. So um, yeah, I'm not like a cook or a chef or anything like that. I just have been trying a lot of recipes because like I do have celiac. So we're trying to find some different things. Um, but yeah, I figured I might as well just give like a disclaimer on that because, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, also, I guess like going on this week, I'm going tomorrow to the office to clean out my desk. They like finally gave us approval to go in. Um, I kind of just would rather leave the stuff there until this whole thing blows over, but who knows when that's going to be. So I'm probably going to go in with like a mask and gloves, obviously both of those things. And, like, I think I'm going to wear, like, leggings and then put sweatpants over it and then a t-shirt and a sweatshirt with a hood. So I can, like, pull all that stuff off but have the leggings and the t-shirt on and then put the clothing that I wore in there into a bag. I don't know. I haven't left my house in, like, five weeks, so I really don't know how to act. Um, and I finally put earrings in for, like, the first time since basically Florida. And, um, I hadn't been wearing my second hole, like, before that. So I, like, had to, like, re-pierce my ears and that's kind of scary because I've had all of them for like a pretty long time. So that wasn't great. But it's nice to have earrings in. I feel kind of put together. No makeup on, but you know. Eh. Um, and then uh, this weekend, I'm supposed to get an Amazon package. I'm like hopping on the, the TikTok bandwagon for everything because I guess I have nothing else better to do. But I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, I'm going to bleach dye a crew neck. So I ordered one from Amazon. Um... And then I also ordered sun balm, like leave-in conditioner because I've ran out of it. And you can kind of tell my hair kind of needs a little help. It looks nice and shiny, but um, it definitely, like I haven't been using like the leave-in conditioner because I ran out of it. And I didn't really like the other one I had. It was like in a purple bottle. I forget what brand it was, but it wasn't anything great. So excited for that. And then the last thing I ordered that's supposed to come is um i ordered stuff from crz yoga it's on amazon i saw a lot of people were like getting stuff from there and some girl i follow her name's kylie ross i literally love her her channel's so good um she's been trying out all their stuff and said how great it is so i figured i didn't really need leggings or sports bras because i have a million but i really don't have any shorts i don't know 
like if I just can't find them or what the deal is, but they had like a dupe for um, a pair of Lululemon ones. So I ordered those, they were $24. Um, the only thing was that they didn't have like any colors. All the colors were sold out. So I got like a mauve, but that'll be cool. So those are supposed to come in on the 21st. So we have some time on those, but I don't know. I'll probably film maybe this weekend. It is Easter, but we're not like really doing anything. Um, which is kind of different, but you know, it is what it is. Happy quarantine. And um, if you guys like these videos, subscribe, like, comment below. Let me know if you guys like make pad thai or anything like that. Or if you have any um, like better ideas for what I should put in the pad thai. I always put bean sprouts usually. That literally made no sense. But I usually do bean sprouts, but because we are quarantined, like I didn't have that. Um, but let me know if you guys put other things in yours or um, what your favorite recipes are to cook. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.